Hello, hello, welcome back to our channel. It's us again by you twins, but this time we're gonna be behind the camera. Why? Because we have a lot of work to do. And we'll be showing you how to transform trash to treasure. Alrighty, so in today's video, we'll be sharing with you five items that we purchased from different thrift stores that were less than $10 each. First things first, we're starting off with this treasure box we got from Goodwill for $6.99. It was very clean from the inside, so we decided to get it and started by cleaning it from the outside. To start our magic, and as you guys can see over here, we're using tape to create different lines that will give us such a beautiful geometrical shapes and we'll be doing that in the entire box After being satisfied with the final result, now we're going to go ahead and paint it all white, as you can see over here. In this side table project, we unfortunately lost some of the videos after filming it. Luckily, we managed to recover some of them and with whatever we got, we tried our best to put it all together in one video to share with you how it was all done. So as you guys can see here, 24 hours later after I poured my cement into the vase and added the bottom parts of the cue stick and we also made sure to secure it with some objects so we won't move while it's drying. And over here we added some clay to fill up the hole and make sure that it looks all nice and clean. So while that was drying, we moved on to the wood board which basically will be the top part of our table. So we're sanding it down to get rid of the print and to also get that smooth texture at the end. We could have stopped there, but we wanted to get that shiny wood finish. So we're applying one coat of the clear gloss paints to achieve that look. Going back to the base of our side table after it was completely dry, we're now spray painting the cue stick with gold spray paint. Using the black matte spray paint to paint the bottom parts of our table, we really liked how we were able to combine different textures in one project that you guys will see in a little bit.
So we wanted to transform these two night lamps that we got from Goodwill for $3.99 each from plain basic night lamps to marble night lamps. So we first started by covering the wires with tape to protect them from the water. Yep, water, because that was the easiest and the quickest method to get that marble finish. As long as you're being careful, you can absolutely do that. So in here, we were spray painting the water with the colors that we wanted our uh, lamps to have, which is basically the original marble colors. And in just a couple of seconds, it went from a plain lamp to a marble lamp. add some character to our lamps we got these little foam thingies from dollar store and we spray painted them in gold Honestly, this was the quickest and the easiest project ever. We didn't do much in this one. All we did was just clean up this little cute horsey. Then we started spray painting it using black matte spray paint and we let it dry for a couple of hours. After it was completely dry, we used gold paint and champagne shade and a tiny little brush and we kind of started brushing through the hair to define it more. And that was basically it. Didn't I tell you it was very quick? <laughs> And last but not least is this beautiful bathtub tray. So apparently this was a shelf, but as soon as we saw it, we knew that it would perfectly fit on our bathtub. So we got it, we sent it down to get all of that dirt and residue out of it. Or let's just say we want to give it a new life. Then we applied about two coats of the clear gloss wood paint to give it that shiny finish and also to protect it from water since it's gonna be always next to it. And of course it wouldn't be a try without its handles. After all the math and measurements of this little mini project, we finally decided where we wanted the holes to be. Then using the drill, we created the holes. Then we screwed down the handles to the tray. That's the end to our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to leave us a comment which one of the DIYs was your favorite. Follow us on Instagram for more mini DIYs. And again, thanks for watching and we'll see you on our next video.
Oh, that's the 